You're wanting to improve your action scenes and fights. Well, here are some things to avoid and some things to do when writing your action scenes. Don't have all your characters fearing that they will die in every single fight, unless that's a vital part of your character. Not everyone will fear death. Someone might be going to battle in a berserker rage, not caring if they die, just caring that they get the revenge they desire. Or someone went into a fight who is really well trained, might go into a more logical method where they aren't really thinking about what could happen, but just thinking what to do. So remember to know your characters, who they are, and how they view the situation, and know the type of fight they're going into to know what their emotions and thoughts would be during the fight. If a character is entering a fight that poses them no, th no threat, why would they fear death? Or if a character doesn't care if they're going to die because they just want to die, why would they be thinking about death? They're just thinking about going into the fight. Or if a character is well trained in going into this fight, as I said previously, maybe they're more of a logical, mechanical method going into this fight. Remember that. Also, remember, do not write stage directions. You're not writing directions to give to someone so they know how to do the fight. You're painting the fight for the reader so that they can see it and know that fight is going on and feel their emotions of it. So remember to include emotions and also remember you don't need to give a step by step of how the fight went down. Sometimes a few, a few words describing the chaos of the fight might work. Other times you could, if you want to appear as if it's a very refined fight between two masters, you can use terms mean different systems of a fight. You can even make them up yourself, like Robert Jordan did, and give a picture of a fight that people can imagine what it is, but not everyone imagines the same way, but it gives that feel. Also remember, do not needlessly prolong fights. Not every fight needs to go on a long time. You don't need to cause someone to miss an opportunity just so the fight can go on longer. If you want a long fight, make the fight naturally have that flow. Maybe one character is so much more skilled than the other, he just wants to play with the other fighter and lead into problems like Oberon vs. the Mountain in Game of Thrones. Or maybe the two are so equal in their skill and so good at defending that they know how to block each other. Or maybe both characters have an ability to predict the other's movements. So they block all the other strikes. If you're going to have a prolonged fight, make it reasonable. Also, do not have characters miss opportunities unless that opportunity is not one they would take. If you have two characters in a duel to the death and both know that they must kill the other to end the fight and will do it because the other one wants to kill them, if one has the opportunity to stab the other in the back because they're behind them, have them do it. Don't have them slice their ankle and then go around and try to stab them in the front. Just have them kill them from behind. Also remember, not all who are big are brutes and not all who are small are little quick thieves and assassins who can dart around. Know your characters, their training, their experiences. One who is big and muscular but is a trained soldier will probably fight in a very defined system and be skilled at fighting and move relatively quick and be really good at fighting in groups and formations but maybe not the best in a street brawl in the middle of nowhere but still decently good at it while a bouncer at like a tavern or bar or some type of nightclub will be good at fighting drunks and others causing problems in random street scrabbles but probably not the best to put into a battlefield as they would probably run out into the mist and get killed. Also, do not have only one group who's good at fighting unless that's an important part of your story. Uh, many groups should be good at fighting. And also, with a group that is renowned for their skill at fighting, have the knowledge that they impart to others on how to fight, or what is their special techniques, be something truly expert. Don't have them go, well hit them with the hard part of your body into the soft part of their body. Well, duh, that's one of the first things you learn to fight. 
Or don't have him just tell you, oh, stand with your legs spread out shoulder width, like this. Unless you're teaching someone who is completely new and fine, that shouldn't be something that should be seen as something expert. That's the basis of fighting. The stri standard street brawler knows those things. Have them impart true expertise. And you can look it up, whether watching videos on it of how to fight on YouTube or by reading about it in books. So have your experts truly be expert at fighting. Like and subscribe.